so much change with regards to Ghana and where it has to get to. Well, I think there's one piece of change that's very evident. The athletes are getting better and better. So I think the management of, of Ghana Athletics is doing as well as it should. Um, I think my brother just spoke about government support. It's something that I think five years ago, the kinds of things that all of us understand that government should be supporting with five years ago, the question used to be asked as though it was Ghana Athletics, the, the executive board of Ghana Athletics that was supposed to find that support. So I'm glad now that everybody understands that it's government that should, it's always been government. Um, and and I, I, I mean, I, I think I've heard um, uh, echoes from the current government um, that indicate that they recognize that and that they are or in, are intend to do so. Um, one thing I can add to what my brother said is that you see, if you are able to support today's athletes who are doing really well, right? Um, what you do is you, you also create an incentive for athletes who are aspiring to get where they are. And if they do understand that, um, yeah, then Azamati and and his colleagues are getting this level of support because they're running that fast. It motivates them to work hard to get there also. So I think it's something that is not just um, something we shouldn't be looking at just as a reward for the ones who are doing very, very well today, but also as a motivation to sort of incentivize the pipeline of athletes so we continue to do as well as, as, as they are doing today and even better. Um, so just a couple of days, Ben breaks um, Bill Miles Moses' record, and that record was what, 1990? Was it 1900? Um, no, no, not, not the time. When was it set? 1997, I think. Yeah, so it tells you that we're talking about a uh, quarter of a century, right? Yeah. Um, but we've got a cohort of male sprinters right now that is just doing some incredible things. Yeah. Um, I heard you talk about women's athletes. Um, I think that if you think back eight or so years ago, we had a cohort of female athletes, um, the Flinzes and the yeah. Janets and the Benes, uh, uh, Germans the and German. whatnot. Yeah. And if there is a gap today, I think it has to do with not being able to incentivize, not rewarding those women who did so well, who got us to the Olympics for the first time. Uh, and, um, not rewarding them well enough, I would argue, is part of the reason that there is this gap now. But there are lots of talents. Today, I've heard, I've, I'm hearing so much about this young woman from Army. We have to make sure that she's doing the right things. We have to make sure, and, and making sure that she's doing the right things is not just a discipline and a training issue. It's also making sure that she has what she needs to do what, and so it's the coaching and so on and so forth. Yeah. Um, ben went out um, just like um, his colleagues and they run well and you, you see a lot of people now standing up and trying to, to sort of take some of the credit for what he's doing. But you see, as far as I'm concerned, when athletes run well, or when they jump far, or when they throw um, far, it's not simply the coaches. Because those coaches coach a whole host of athletes. And if it was just the coach's magic, you'd expect that all the athletes under that coach would excel in the same way. It's not just the athlete at that time, because then five years ago, I don't think any of you would have given him sort of the anticipation that this is what he's going to be able to do. And it's the mix between the coach and the, the chemistry between the coach and the athlete and the context that they are in. But most of all, I think it's athletes who are willing not just to work hard, but to learn what they have to do to excel in their craft. And that a lot of times we don't see. I mean, you see, I mean, I, I can give you an example from uh, today of two young women hijackers who were sent off to the U.S. I think it was four or five years ago. They left the same year. They were at about the same performance. You were there at Cape Coast yeah. when, yeah. just before Durban, when they jumped. Yeah. Right. Now, just last week, one of them jumps 184, another one jumps 161 or something. So it, it also has to do with people understanding not just what they have to do, but being willing to do what they have to do. And so when the kids do well, they, 
call them kids because they're 20 something and I'm like 80 or something. But, but when, when the young athletes do well, we have to be able to give them credit through, through your media um, 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 uh, angle, but also in terms of incentives and letting them know that they've done what they, they will continue to do well.